What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chase and Cinema. James Shu, how are you, sir? Dot com, the film lover's website. Yes. And we are here. It's an exciting time. It is an exciting week. There's a lot going on this week, so I'm excited to be here. Of course, I'm always excited to see you. How's everything going with you right now? You know, we can't complain. I love film. Yes. AMC is an awesome movie theater where we get a uh, enjoy film, great people, great times in the 702 atmosphere. Love it. Absolutely, and no better place to see the re-release of the 30-year-old film Ghostbusters. They've celebrated 30-year anniversary, and by doing so, they re-released it out in theaters for about a week or so, depending on your area, and that's what we're here to review today. Have you ever seen Ghostbusters, and what are your feelings towards it? You know, I actually have a lot to say about Ghostbusters. I've never seen either of them. <laughs> Yep, I know really? Sigourney, I know Sigour Sigourney Weaver is actually the hot love interest at the time. <laughs> I don't really find her hot, but I actually enjoy her because I see her as Ripley, you know, killing <laughs> aliens, yeah. not a, as a sex symbol. Because I, I see her bald, and and it, that's another subject another time. But yeah, the Ghostbusters was something I never was able to fall in love with. I understand that it was able to spawn into the cartoons, the action figures, and what brings in the money. I understand that I get that, but. Other than a Puff State Marshmallow Man, which is awesome. State Puff Marshmallow Man. Sorry, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I know nothing. Well, um, I've seen this film countless times, and I think any movie lover has. Um, but beyond any movie lover, I think mostly everyone has enjoyed the films. Um, I honestly, as I was writing my review for this movie, I honestly want to say that this is probably the most, like the biggest and most famous film in our pop culture. It is not very often you get a movie 30 years old where people are still wearing the t-shirts. Where if you, on Halloween, you're gonna get at least four Ghostbusters knocking on your door for trick or treating. What's that guy's name, Slimer? <laughs> Slimer, you know, the, 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 the one of the ghosts. Um, the theme song is still played on the radio to this yeah. day, 30 yeah. years later. It is one, and people see that icon of the ghost with the yeah. X around it. People know what that is. That's amazing. We still talk about great films like On With The Wind. It's, you know, the list of many, but there's something about Ghostbusters that has stayed alive for 30 years, enough for people to go see it in theaters now, showing their kids or showing whoever it may be. And I'm a big fan of it, but I'm really, really excited to see it in the big screen. All right, so we'll be back, guys. Hour 45 minutes. Guys, we're back. Here we go. Go. <laughs> go. Um, okay, <laughs> so not really much of a surprise how I felt about Ghostbusters watching it, but if you do have the opportunity to go see Ghostbusters in theaters in your area or if you're local, um, I really, really recommend it because it was an experience. It was an experience to see that movie 30, 30 years old has been able to continually make people laugh. I mean, the feeling we had in that theater was just pure joy and fun-filled and just happy. And that's, I mean, people were dressed up, people were quoting the movie as it went along. I mean, the greatest thing that Ghostbusters gave us was a hundred different quotes to still say, as my favorite is, tell me about the Twinkie. No matter who you are, there's something to find. <laughs> Over something to find. When I hear Twinkie, love. I think Lex Luthor, and I think of Zombieland. <laughs> moving on, moving forward. Moving on. Anyway, a great, great movie. One of the greatest theme songs. Uh, Ray Parker Jr. made a song that was nominated Ghost for an Academy Busters. Award. The theme song that is impeccable. The one you heard before this video even started. There's just something about this By movie that has such an energy <laughs> that. <laughs> You have to you have to witness with a group of people. I really recommend it. If you can't see it in your area, watch it home on DVD. Invite the family over, bring friends over, and make an experience because that's why I enjoyed seeing this movie. Do we have an idea of how many stars the original Ghostbusters gets? You know, um, you'll have to see, but it is very high. You'll have to go to the review and actually see as I broke down why. www.chasingcinema.com slash the ghost or uh, slash Ghostbusters 1984. Great, um, Rumorville. Yes. So you know the Expendables. Supposedly, well, that one didn't do well, but Expendables. Expendables, yes. The ladies, and the newest rumor in um, the world of movie news is Ghostbusters. Um, which one's the one that Bill Murray's the one's not invited back, right? Well, well, one of them's Bill, not on good terms. Yeah, Bill Murray Bill has Murray, been right? very off on making a third one, but they've been trying to make a third since 1989 mm -hmm. when the sequel came out. Um, and unfortunately, this year we did lose a Ghostbuster. We lost Harold Ramis. That also kind of gave a feeling in the movie, watching it in the big screen, knowing that he recently passed away. So now, um, Bill, so Bill Murray yeah. is not a fan of doing this. He's he not, doesn't want to do there's, it. He's been off and off. Dan Aykroyd is all, all flag in the air, he's the, he's, tattoo, he's, he's like, okay, I need to make money. No disrespect, but I can't blame him. For, anyway, another subject. And so he's like, I'm all in. And supposedly they want to turn the Ghostbusters into, the new Ghostbusters into women. An all-female cast. I mean, your thoughts, man. 
You know, um, well, the, the name that floated around that project was Paul Feig. Paul Feig directed Bridesmaids. Which means we'll see Melissa McCarthy. And The Heat, which to me, when you say Melissa McCarthy Ghostbusters, I honestly think that sounds really exciting. I think it would be hard to make a sequel with the um, same, with, you know, at least Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, um, or a few other, Sigourney Weaver and Hale, um, um, Rick Moran is making a cameo. I think they could be great cameos, but I think they should go in a newer direction um, with the Ghostbusters franchise. I think all women cast, we, we have a lot of great female comedians right now, and that's really, really amazing. The thing about watching Ghostbusters is the, uh, Dan Eckward and Bill Murray were in their prime. You know, top of SNL, really, really great funny guys. Hale Ramis was still kind of an up-and-comer, but, I mean, that movie was just so funny. The dialogue, the conversations were so hilarious that I think that's something that these female cast that Paul Feig has worked with, with Crystal Wig um, and Melissa McCarthy, can really bring to the movie. I don't know if necessarily it's exactly what the Ghostbuster community really wants, but I think I always feel, as we talked about many times on the podcast and things like that, or just in general, that a, a different direction is always a good way to go. Do you think that they should continue the story or just start a new story? If you need cameos by them to just be there, let Dan Aykroyd right. be there. But Director Jake, Jake Toronto right here, okay? I think I would by do is I would have the movie start off in the old Ghostbusters building that's run down, the station is no longer active, and you have Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig, or whoever your two main actresses are, go in and say, you know, I wish this place was still around. They eventually buy it from Cameo Surprise, Bill Murray, that's and, fair. Uh, um, and they talk, and them taking over and kind of redoing this. Uh, I think that would be a really great direction for the movie to go. However, I would say as much as I do love this movie, I'm not one of the die-hard, die-hard fans of people eat and breathe Ghostbusters, so maybe they'd want something different, but I feel going in the different direction would be the smartest thing to do. Okay, cool. We have a special, special surprise for everybody. Yes. Uh, for Finally, Chasing Cinema has going on for two and a half years, and really quick, I want to thank everyone that's been a part nice. of that. You know, I've had so many supporters, including this man right here, including the man behind the camera. I've had a lot of people really, really Kent support Wong. what I do. Yes, Kent Wong, you're the man. Um, and I really just want to say thank you to everyone who's helped me out. You know, uh, Samantha, Louis Vuitton, everyone who's been so supportive, my brothers, my family. Um, but finally, two and a half years later, Chasing Cinema has gotten a logo. And uh, for, for me, it was a birthday gift to myself that I purchased the logo that I really, really loved. And we are gonna reveal it right now for the first time. Everybody, Louis Vuitton doesn't even know what the logo is. Nice. It is for you guys to see right now. Very excited about it. Uh, it's his birthday this week. Yes, thank you, sir. Friday? Yep, Friday. At the time of this recording, it's uh, <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. So, it's his birthday. It's your birthday. I'm gonna party like it's my birthday. I want you to. <laughs> At the movies. All right, so next week, I'm actually excited about this one. No I don't think you're gonna like yeah, it. No, no good deed. It just Elba. I'm actually a big fan of Elba. A, I like him, and seeing him as, instead of a philosopher, a, yes. a good guy, he's this good killer. <laughs> well, uh, well, <laughs> or before, looks like it. Well, before you go on, I've not seen the trailer for it. I only saw a glimpse of it, and it, what the scene was in the trailer, him like breaking into a house, that's yes. all I saw, so I have no idea what this movie's about. Scary. So, and I'm a big fan of Alba, and I so think he's a great I. actor, so I'm really kind of anxious to see this. Yes, I'm very excited, so we'll be back for that in uh, seven plus two, nine days. <laughs> we'll be back in nine days, guys. No, it's too instant. <laughs> we'll be back in eight days, whatever. ChasingCinema.com, we'll be back. Yes, as always, enjoy the logo, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check out more. Film Lovers website. Afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no